This is what we call uh, ABCs. And we check the air in the tires, make sure those tires are pumped up to the maximum that they can go. This is to prevent pinches in the inner tube and therefore you'll get flats. The other thing we want to do is check our brakes, make sure that the brakes on the bike are working. We have a real simple rule, it's called the rule of thumb. Making sure that the gap between the uh, handle here and the, uh, the brake handle is no more than a um, thumb width distance to the, to the handle. So if you can fit your thumb in there, then there's probably enough pressure, on, you know, distance on the brake there to make sure that those are working. That's really important. If they come all the way, then they're probably not working properly. So make sure those are adjusted. The other thing, obviously, we're going to check our chain, okay, and make sure that the chain is uh, and the running gear is working properly before we go for a ride. Helmet may save a child's life. I think there was an incident last year where a child was run over by a mail truck, truck inadvertently, and the helmet did save the child's life because the wheel did go over the helmet. So. Again, making sure that it's the, uh, uh, an approved brand, an approved safety brand. And there should be about a finger's gap in this. This one's probably a little bit loose on Jameson, so we could tighten that up a little bit. Make sure it's not going to slip off um, if it was uh, in an accident situation. So another thing to consider too with our children, they're generally smaller. They may not sit up as high on the roadway, so for adults, uh, driving vehicles. We have a lot of distracted driving, even with their hands-free laws, a lot of people are not paying attention when they're driving. They're talking on the phone, they're looking at their phones, they're adjusting the radio, they're thinking about other things. Make sure your children are wearing bright colored clothing, reflective uh, items if you can. But one thing to remember too, that a lot of our kids now with the hours of light starting to reduce as we move into the fall, a lot of kids are biking at night. Uh, it's getting darker, very hard for the cyclists to be seen, making sure we have our reflectors as a minimum for day, that's fine. But if we are riding at night, we do need to have um, either a steady white light at the front. It needs to project uh, up to about 500 feet. Same with the rear, either a flashing red or a uh, stable red light. Again, same sort of lumosity, needs to be up to between 100 and 600 feet. We see a lot of kids just out there riding around and um, it's very easy to forget that so they need to understand the road rules for safety on that road. So behind us is a stop sign. I would expect a bike to come to a complete stop. A lot of people don't, but it's very important that uh, cars and bikes are behaving in the same way so that it's not inconsistency. So when Jameson would be riding up towards the, the stop sign here, um, he would come to a complete stop just as if he was driving a car, which he's not able to do at this time in his life. Uh, and then he would have to signal left or right, obviously, Real basic signals, uh, just using that hand signal to, to delineate which way I'm going to go so that the traffic is understanding of that. A lot of people like to walk against the traffic when they are uh, walking down the road, which is fine as a, as a pedestrian, you can do that because then you can see the traffic coming at you. I know a lot of people are advocates of doing the same thing with bikes and technically that is not uh, something you should do. Uh, the law requires that bikes should be going the same way with the traffic and it's really important because then the um, drivers aren't surprised by things coming at them. Be really careful when you're driving around children that um, you know you see them and give them appropriate distance because even if you see them they may not see you. Really really important that uh, we give them that that space and recognize as children they may have varying levels of skill with their bike they may not have confidence with their bike and a car coming near them may be unsettling. Um, so give them extra room to make sure that they have that space. It's typically about three feet. Bikes get stolen all the time around town. Dozens and dozens, dozens of bikes. Our CSOs regularly pick them up from places where they've been left, dumped, found, uh, stolen. So having a bike lock, making sure it's locked on the frame, not just on the wheel, but you can actually, if you're bending on the size of the, uh, the bike lock, you, uh, you might be able to sn uh, snake it through the frame, through the, the front wheel, and then around something secure. I hope you have a good school year. Good luck, all the best, and we want you to be safe out there. Obviously, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to the police department. Thanks, guys.